Hey guys, similar to my video from the other day, I'm going to be doing a kind of off script um, showcase of <clears throat> another project I was working on recently that's pretty similar to the Floating Islands um, update, but it's actually Floating Islands over oceans. So um, I guess we've got the Flying Dutchman there. Um, <laughs> but what we have is all of your land biomes will be the floating islands above and the like little continental islands like in the ocean and um, then you'll have your oceans down below and then you'll have all of your normal caves and underground structures down below the oceans. Um, the caves, normally if you generate a world with just oceans, what would happen is some of the cave biomes cannot generate in oceans, like dripstone caves and the deep dark, but um, the caves are reflected um, from the biomes above rather than the biomes below. So like, so for example, if there's like a jungle above, usually there would be lush caves below. So that's what would be under the ocean there. Like the other data pack I made recently, there are a couple of files that I've included that, that allows you to configure a couple of things um, about the world generation, such as the floating islands style. So this is just the vanilla right now, but you can reduce them. I plan on adding a few more different styles in the future, but that'll be after I've already started working on making my own custom floating islands probably. The other main thing that you can configure is the size of the islands that generate in the oceans. So currently the default is the small islands, but you can also make larger islands or you can even have no islands. Although I will warn you, if you opt to have no islands in the ocean, one, mushrooms, mushroom fields will still generate in the ocean. And two, you won't have any beach biomes, which pretty much makes it impossible to find buried treasures and beach biomes, which makes two advancements impossible, which are how did we get here and adventuring time because you need all effects for how did we get here and the conduit is how you get one of the effects and for adventuring time, you need to discover every biome and you can't discover the beach biome if the beach biome doesn't generate. I could make a version that fixes that and makes beach biomes generate in the floating islands section. I didn't want to do that here, but if anyone does want that, I can make that. The last thing that you can configure, and this is a simple configuration, all you need to do is delete a file, is I made buried treasures 10 times more common, and that's just because buried treasures um, tend to generate kind of sparsely and they only generate in beach biomes. So with this, you have like significantly less beach biomes. So if you tried to find a buried treasure, it might not be in the island you find. And sometimes the islands are very far apart from each other. Also, <laughs> these ice spikes are pretty cool. Oh my gosh. Let me see how low it goes. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> I love ice spikes and these like floating world generation types, they just go crazy. So here we can see a mushroom biome and I have it generating up here and I have it generating below because without that I had some issues with mushroom spawning and I did not want that to happen because I love mushrooms. The mushroom islands is kind of like a mix between a ocean biome and a regular biome so I thought why not put it up here. Also here's what the world looks like without shaders in case you're curious. In the last video I, I posted, I kind of did this in the opposite order where I did regular Minecraft first and then shaders. Let me know in the comments what you think is better. Shaders first or regular Minecraft first because I know it's important to show both. Like I said the other day, be sure to check out the description to find the download link and to watch out for the tutorials I will be making on how to configure these world generation data packs yourself. My last video got a lot of positive reception and I gotta thank you guys for that. It was really nice and it helps motivate me to make more projects like this. I will be uploading one more showcase of a project I had worked on recently, but this time it won't be a floating islands one. It'll be something completely different. It will build upon another vanilla world generation style in Minecraft. 